So right after getting on the train at Tugu station, we started walking towards Malioboro Street. If you didn't watch the first video of traveling to Yogyakarta from Solo Naik Karata Api, you can watch the video from the link that you can see on the upper right side of this video. Right now, we are in Pasar Kembang Street or Kembang Market Street. On this road, there are a lot of hotels and restaurants around here. Malioboro Street. As soon as you step onto Malioboro Street, you are hit with a wave of energy. It's a lively mix of traditional markets, street food stalls, and local performers. The colors, the smells, it's all so immersive. Probably because of the time that I was shooting, you are seeing Jalan Malioboro to be nearly empty but I have been there previously like 10 times and most of the times Jalan Malioboro was full of people but anyway if you are not from Yogyakarta then you can see the full of the famous Malioboro street from this video
Java, you'll find a lot of small bus stops here and there in the streets where you can ride the bus for a little amount of money. Here we can see Trans Jogja, which operates only in Jogjakarta. In Solo, we have Batik Solo Trans or BST or BST in English. You just need to have an e-wallet to ride those buses. The fare of those buses depends on the city. For example, in Solo, the price is 3,300 in Indonesian rupiah, which is nearly 30 Bangladeshi taka. In the next video, I will ride Bejak for the first time here in Indonesia. In Bangladesh, we have rickshaw, but that's a bit different than Bejak because in rickshaw the driver sits in the front, but here in Bejak the driver sits behind the passenger. So up until then, goodbye, see you friends.